ECMAScript or S is a trademarked scripting language specification standardized by ECMA International in ECMA 262 and ISO IEC 16262. It was created to standardize JavaScript so as to foster multiple independent implementations. JavaScript has remained the best known implementation of ECMAScript since the standard was first published, with other well known implementations including JScript and ActionScript. ECMAScript is commonly used for client side scripting on the World Wide Web, and it is increasingly being used for writing server applications and services using Node.js. History The ECMAScript specification is a standardized specification of a scripting language developed by Brendan Eich of Netscape. Initially, it was named Mocha, later LiveScript, and finally JavaScript. In December 1995, Sun Microsystems and Netscape announced JavaScript in a press release. The first edition of ECMA 262 was adopted by the ECMA General Assembly in June 1997. Several editions of the language standard have been published since then. The name, ECMAScript, was a compromise between the organizations involved in standardizing the language, especially Netscape and Microsoft, whose disputes dominated the early standard sessions. Each commented that, ECMAScript was always an unwanted trade name that sounds like a skin disease. While both JavaScript and JScript aim to be compatible with ECMAScript, they also provide additional features not described in the ECMA specifications. Versions There are nine editions of ECMA 262 published. Work on version 9 of the standard was finalized in June 2018. In June 2004, ECMA International published ECMA 357 standard, defining an extension to ECMAScript, known as ECMAScript for XML ECMA also defined a «compact profile» for ECMAScript, known as SCP, or ECMA 327 that was designed for resource-constrained devices, which was withdrawn in 2015. Fourth edition abandoned. The proposed fourth edition of ECMA 262 ECMAScript 4 or ES4 would have been the first major update to ECMAScript since the third edition was published in 1999. The specification along with a reference implementation was originally targeted for completion by October 2008. An overview of the language was released by the Working Group on October 23, 2007. By August 2008, the ECMAScript 4th edition proposal had been scaled back into a project codenamed ECMAScript Harmony. Features under discussion for Harmony at the time included classes, a module system, optional type annotations and static typing, probably using a structural type system, generators and iterators destructuring assignment, and algebraic data types. Intent of these features was partly to better support programming in the large, and to allow sacrificing some of the script's ability to be dynamic to improve performance. For example, Tamarin, the virtual machine for ActionScript, developed and open-sourced by Adobe, has just-in-time compilation support for certain classes of scripts. In addition to introducing new features, some ES3 bugs were proposed to be fixed in Edition 4. These fixes and others, and support for JSON encoding, decoding, have been folded into the ECMAScript, 5th edition specification. Work started on edition 4 after the SCP compact profile specification was completed, and continued for approximately 18 months where slow progress was made balancing the theory of Netscape's JavaScript 2 specification with the implementation experience of Microsoft's JScript.net. After some time, the focus shifted to the ECMAScript for XML standard. The update has not been without controversy. In late 2007, a debate between Ike, later the Mozilla Foundation's CTO, and Chris Wilson, Microsoft's platform architect for Internet Explorer, became public on a number of blogs. Wilson cautioned that because the proposed changes to ECMAScript made it backwards incompatible in some respects to earlier versions of the language, the update amounted to breaking the web", and that stakeholders who opposed the changes were being "...hidden from view". Ike responded by stating that Wilson seemed to be 
repeating falsehoods in blogs, and denied that there was attempt to suppress dissent and challenged critics to give specific examples of incompatibility. He pointed out that Microsoft Silverlight and Adobe Air rely on C Sharp and ActionScript 3 respectively, both of which are larger and more complex than ECMAScript Edition 3. Fifth edition Yahoo, Microsoft, Google, and other fourth edition dissenters formed their own subcommittee to design a less ambitious update of ECMAScript 3, tentatively named ECMAScript 3.1. This edition would focus on security and library updates with a large emphasis on compatibility. After the aforementioned public sparring, the ECMAScript 3.1 and ECMAScript 4 teams agreed on a compromise. The two editions would be worked on, in parallel, with coordination between the teams to ensure that ECMAScript 3.1 remains a strict subset of ECMAScript 4 in both semantics and syntax. However, the differing philosophies in each team resulted in repeated breakages of the subset rule, and it remained doubtful that the ECMAScript 4 dissenters would ever support or implement ECMAScript 4 in the future. After over a year since the disagreement over the future of ECMAScript within the ECMA Technical Committee 39, the two teams reached a new compromise in July 2008. Brendan Eich announced that ECMA TC39 would focus work on the ECMAScript 3.1, later renamed to ECMAScript 5th edition project with full collaboration of all parties, and vendors would target at least two interoperable implementations by early 2009. In April 2009, ECMA TC39 published the final draft of the fifth edition and announced that testing of interoperable implementations was expected to be completed by mid July. On December 3, 2009, ECMA 262 fifth edition was published. Sixth edition, ECMAScript 2015 The sixth edition, officially known as ECMAScript 2015, was finalized in June 2015. This update adds significant new syntax for writing complex applications, including classes and modules, but defines them semantically in the same terms as ECMAScript 5 strict mode. Other new features include iterators and for, of loops, Python-style generators, arrow functions, binary data, typed arrays, collections maps, sets and weak maps, promises, number and math enhancements, reflection, and proxies metaprogramming for virtual objects and wrappers. The complete list is extensive. 7th edition, ECMAScript 2016 The seventh edition, officially known as ECMAScript 2016, was finalized in June 2016. New features include the exponentiation operator asterisk asterisk array dot prototype dot includes not to be confused with class list dot contains. Topic eighth edition ECMAScript 2017. The 8th edition, officially known as ECMAScript 2017, was finalized in June 2017. Includes async, await, which works using generators and promises. 9th edition, ECMAScript 2018 The 9th edition, officially known as ECMAScript 2018, was finalized in June 2018. New features include rest, spread properties, asynchronous iteration, promise.prototype. Finally, and additions to regex. Topic S next. S next is a dynamic name that refers to whatever the next version is at time of writing. S next features are more correctly called proposals because, by definition, the specification has not been finalized yet. Features The ECMAScript language includes structured, dynamic, functional, and prototype-based features. Syntax Transpiling Since S2015, transpiling JavaScript has become very common. Transpilation is a source-to-source -source compilation in which the newer versions of JavaScript are used in the user's source code and the transpiler rewrites them so that they are compliant with the current specification. 
Usually, transpilers transpile down to ES3 to maintain compatibility with all versions of browsers. The settings to transpiling to a specific version can be configured according to need. Transpiling adds an extra step to the build process and sometimes to avoid that polyfills can be used as well. Polyfills allow adding extra functionalities by including another JavaScript file which adds those specific functionalities. Conformance In 2010, ECMA International started developing a standards test for ECMA 262 ECMAScript. Test 262 is an ECMAScript conformance test suite that can be used to check how closely a JavaScript implementation follows the ECMAScript 5th edition specification. The test suite contains thousands of individual tests, each of which tests some specific requirements of the ECMAScript specification. Development of Test 262 is a project of ECMA Technical Committee 39 The testing framework and individual tests are created by member organizations of TC39 and contributed to ECMA for use in Test 262. Important contributions were made by Google Sputnik Test Suite and Microsoft who both contributed thousands of tests. The Test 262 Test Suite already contains more than 11,000 tests and is being developed further as of 2013. ECMAScript specifications through ES7 are well supported in major web browsers. The table below shows the conformance rate for current versions of software with respect to the most recent editions of ECMAScript. See also Comparison of layout engines ECMAScript ECMAScript for XML E4X JavaScript JScript List of ECMAScript engines Topic References Topic External links Official website ISO standardizo 16262 ECMA STANDARDS ECMA 262 ECMA 262 ECMAScript language specification 3rd edition December 1999 ECMAScript language specification edition 3 final the 24th of March 00 ECMA 262 ECMAScript language specification 5th edition December 2009 ECMA 262 ECMAScript language specification 5 1 edition June 2011 ECMA 290 ECMAScript components specification June 1999 ECMA 327 ECMAScript 3rd edition compact profile June 2001 ECMA 357 ECMAScript for XML E4X specification June 2004